my name is Wolfgrim and welcome to a game called Townscape. I've seen this pop up on Twitter, on my Twitter feed a couple of times. It caught my eye a few times and I'm just curious what it is, but it's now finally on Steam in beta, I think, or early access, one of the two. Um, and it's quite uh, interesting and, well, it's one of these games you could lose many, many hours on it before you know. And it's very simple. Okay, so you can build... This is all randomly generated. You can build houses. And <laughs> I do love the little effects of the water and stuff. And the sound design's nice, but it does need some audio. So we can build some things like that. And we can build them out a little bigger house. And got a post box. I'm not sure how the postman's going to get to that box. but And we can build outriggers like that. And eventually seagulls will come on. But also, you can just... If I just click randomly... This is all randomly generated. So you can literally build... I'm scared the seagulls off now. See? And it's all randomly generated. That's a mess. So it's left click to build, right click to... Oh, wrong thing. Uh, let's do... No. Townscape. Scaper. Townscaper, I got the name wrong. There's, there you go, there's a house. And a large patio. There's a neighbour. So it, it's randomly generating, but there is a few things like if I build this, I don't know what the height limit is. I've not actually checked. <laughs> um, it appears to be quite a height. I love how when you build stuff, little rocks just fall in. Something satisfying about that. Oh wow! So I can just. Okay, I'm learning with you guys now. This guy's on his own. So yeah, you can build stuff. Well, I say you can build stuff. You can build this town, but also, if I go to the grid, you'll see the grid is not perfect. But when you build a city, that adds up to a lot. So let's just... Let's sit here and start again. Well, let's just go new. Um, we'll start a little city here, and we'll build... I'm going to build my imaginary city. Oh, I didn't know I could do this with a grid just that spans out. Okay, let's find a cool... Oh, this is do. I have a plan in my head. Which is never a good thing. <laughs> so I'm going to build like an... Anybody who's seen... I'm going to think of the movies that best relate to this. What I'm thinking in my head. I'm wanting... It's weird it's left click to move the camera, but that's fine. So I'm thinking... Oh, that's a weird one. Let's get rid of the grid because it's it's throwing me off a little bit. There's a house there now. Can I click and gra drag? No, I can't. Okay, this is not what I wanted to build, but we're going with it. Okay, now I'm starting again. I don't know what I'm doing. With this. <laughs> There's too much options, right? I want basically I want like a gatehouse where boats can come in. So let's start with that. Kind of like that. Because it's randomly generated. What if I just... Oh, that's cool. I like that. Okay. So what if I build here? Oh, I'll just turn it into a normal... So that's our entrance. You can go away. So the boat's coming here, da da da. Imagine there's a gate there. <laughs> and then also if anybody plays this, send me a tweet of what you've built. I'll be interested to see what people have built with this. Because I feel like you can do some amazing things. Like it's just I'm not actually gonna plan this now, I'm just gonna start building. Oh I don't like the fact the camera zooms over because you, if you double click you end up with a small thing. But also I need to show this game off more. I'm getting oh I've realised why I'm getting all red houses. Can I have the wrong colour set? There's a neon green building. Everybody wants a neon green building. That's better. Now we're getting now we're getting somewhere. Let's pick another colour. This would be a good little game to um live stream, I think. Cause you could just sit and chill. 
There we go, that's what I wanted to build. Now, if I do this... I'm trying to show you guys another mechanic. It hasn't worked. Because that's, that's meant to turn into a little courtyard, apparently. I don't know why it hasn't turned into a courtyard, but it's randomly generated, so... Maybe that's why. Working out how this game works. There we go, that's what we wanted to do. So I'm just going to make a giant garden. Comes out like this. I don't know what the end game of this game is. The end game of this game is going to be. That's a weird sentence. Um, but I think it's either way. This on its own is a nice little. Let's pick up that. I wish I could randomly pick. It could randomly pick colours, but it doesn't seem to want to do that. That's fine. I'm sure you guys will be more creative than me with this. When I first saw this, I thought, I can draw my logo in this. I was like, no, because the grid is random. It's like, no, that's not going to happen, is it? Uh, let's pick up colour. Um, why has that not become a courtyard? Because there's water there. Oh, yes, and you have courtyards higher up. See, all the misclicks I'm just leaving in because they're just adding to it. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Look at that. See, this is all randomly generated. We can have... Can I... Ooh, like this. Sort of two... Can I have, like, hanging gardens of... That's cool. Why is this top one not turned into a garden? Ah, it's probably because of this. No, you're not going to turn into a garden? Why is this one not turned into a garden? Okay, let's connect these up, because they're not connected currently. We're going to have a colour. Like this. But you can see how you could rapidly lose, like, days to this game. I do like how the birds, like, if I do this, the birds will then move. I'm hoping they will add, um, a, uh, not AI, other people to it, I guess. I really don't know what the end target of the developers are of this game. Like I said, I just saw it on Twitter, and I've been seeing it on Twitter a lot, and it's caught my eye every single time, purely because of this mechanic. And yeah, I just... I feel like this is one of those few games that would be good on a mobile phone, and there's not many games that I think work on phones, because phones and games, I'm just like, what are you doing? Your phones, no pictures and apps that help you do shopping and stuff like that, fine, but not games. I don't get that myself. Um, but what do I know? <laughs> not a lot. Okay, so this little town... See, every misclick I just end up with... And I haven't actually gone very high yet, so what we're going to... I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to build... I want... So anybody who's been near a shipyard knows there's these giant... Like, a bit, I'm talking big shipyards. You have um, sort of roofed assembly rooms, buildings, assembly buildings. I don't know the word I'm looking for. Dry docks. That's the word I'm looking for. Obviously, I can't build this in this game, but what I can do, I can do this. It's all blue, I know. Um, insert copyright song here. <laughs> if anybody knows the song I'm thinking of, let me know. Here we go. This is what I want to do. So I can build like a area for the ships to go in. Look at this, just the AI AI. You can tell I'm not fully awake. The uh, algorithm is changing it. One little thing and it all changes. Okay, so and then we can just put see, now the ships can come in here. And go and more up here. They need something to more. But 
like this. Nope, that house isn't the right. There we go. Uh, let's put in. Look at that. Oh, that gets rid of the. Mm, hang on, I can cheat. I do this. I do. I want those stairs there. And all the roofs are gone. Okay, let's put some more houses on here then. So, and then. Why is that not turned back into courtyards? Let's leave that at gardens. Okay, see, look, I've been. What has it been? Like 12 minutes, and we've made this. Put houses up here. It just grows really organically, which is hard to do in a game, I think. But I'm no game designer. Have I hit the edge of the map here? I have, okay. In that case, I will just... Hang on, I'm going to build... Can I build a lighthouse in this game? <laughs> this may take some time. I have to switch back and forth between the colours. And that popping sound is very satisfying. <laughs> I like that. Well, it's not really a lighthouse, but you know what you know what I'm going for. Uh, let's go with some green. Have that outline. Let's just connect these because we can. It's just like you build a story in your head with these sort of things. I would love to see, I'll tell you what this game could do with, like anybody who makes mods and if this game can be modded, like you could have like steampunk versions of this, oh you could do so much. You could have things like, I don't know, industrial looking ones, you could have medieval style version of this game, it would take ages to develop because I know this has been in the works for a little while. Um, I mean look at this, look at it, I can build a little courtyard on top of the, and that just turns straight back to that. realize I'm using a lot of green. Let's change colour. See that one building there changed all of this. I just it's brilliant. I absolutely love it. It's just it's so simple but yet really fun. Let's get some spires going. Ooh, he says as he destroys one. Let's get some spires on here. Like so, let's stick a spire on that. Stick one on there. I mean, look, 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 look at what we've made. It's just, hang on, how do I go down? Nope, that one. Look at that. It's a complete mess, but yeah. So let's go back to the grid. Oh, oh it's the camera I'm being limited by, not, not the game. Okay. So how far can I go? Oh, is the game just gonna. There you go. This is for the people they don't like very much. They have to live all the way out here. <laughs> you have a chair? But that's it. Um, let's turn this into like an outlying little village. Get some colours. I wonder what Easter eggs is going or anything. Like if you build a certain side of plateau or certain things spawn. Okay, and then let's go with this one. Go with this one. Um, let's fill in that gap. And pick another colour. Keep
keep getting to change colour, it ends up a bit all to the samey. So why hasn't that turned into a garden? Surely that should have turned into a garden. Am I missing a gap? Nope, I've just made another... Aha, uh -huh, this might be it. Nope. You really don't want to turn this into a garden, do you? There we go. And then that instantly destroys it. Can I build a walkway across here? Hang on. Now I'm just mucking around with the game. It's amazing how this one one click and the whole thing changes. I mean, look at that little garden there now. Um, I want to turn this back into a garden underneath, but I don't think it's going to let me. I mean, this has become Fort Knox, this has. I'm getting distracted by the game and not... It is actually really fun. Just needs a soundtrack, I feel, though. I think that's all it's missing right now. I've just made an enclosed area, haven't I? <laughs> that's all I've done now. It's, it's going to be dark in there. Nope, there's a gap there. There we go. Is it, oh no, there's a gap there. Can I get that one? Nope, there's a gap there. I'm just literally boxing in this courtyard. At this point, it's just in giant room, isn't it? Can we see in there anymore? No. So this entire block <laughs> is accessed by this one door down here. Well, I say that. Unless you want to get on a boat, yeah. Let's let's give them another entrance. Let's go through that building, because why not? I don't know what I'm doing now, I'm just enjoying this a bit too much maybe. There you go. I mean, look, we just we built like some fantasy. But yeah, this is a nice little game. It's five pounds, I think. Um, yeah, I would pick it up. You get a good couple of hours out of it, I'd imagine. I have. <laughs> is there a? I believe there's a time lapse mode as well. No, we don't want to change language. Um, save the clipboard. Eh? But yeah, that was um, Townscaper. I've been Wolf Grimm. Thank you very much for joining, and I shall see you all next time. Mm -hmm.